What is up guys? I just wanted to quickly add this to the video. I'm also going to be adding a better outro because I didn't like the one I recorded yesterday, but the camera is dying, so I got to do that fast. Uh, so I didn't upload the video yesterday because I was waiting for the clip that you guys saw in the beginning. Uh, I was, I didn't want to make you guys wait for that clip because I think it's kind of what makes the video. So without further ado, I'm actually going to just turn on the car because you might have not been able to hear that yesterday with the wind. So I'm going to record that and just let you guys hear the car because I didn't really show you guys. What is up guys, it's your boy Jesse. Thank you for tuning in again. So today we're bringing you a unexpected video. Um, I never really thought about bringing this video to you guys. It was just super unexpected. So I was browsing the web the other day and I was just on Craigslist, just basically window shopping. And I kind of stumbled across a deal that was almost too good to be true. And uh, I ended up sending a link to Gus just so he can see it. And after I sent it to him, we came to the conclusion that we should actually pick this car up and lo and behold there's a new member to the Prevail Motorsports family and yeah we're gonna go ahead and show you that so let me give you a little backstory so the car does have a little bit of damage that's kind of what gets the pricing in the area where we would be comfortable paying and yeah just go into this knowing that it has some damage so yeah let me go ahead and show you that car Alright guys, so it's official, we got another IS300, another one. so this car, it actually has a pretty cool story to it, and the reason why we got it so cheap, so like we said, brand new IS300 to us, 2002, it actually has cream interior, I'll wait to show you the damage, we'll just go ahead and show you the car right now, but the car is a 5 speed, it's a 2002 5 speed. Uh, it does have the full leather interior besides the actual door panels, but it's actually in really good condition. And something I noted on a cream interior is that they have these, uh, I don't know if all of them have it. Oh, that's true. I don't know if every single IC under that's cream interior has this, but it looks fancy. Yes. It looks like a Camry actually, but, but I personally wouldn't put it in my, my no. IS 300, but it looks nice with the white just because of the cream. And no, yeah, I, I feel like this is rare, but I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's a pretty good condition. I mean, obviously that super dirty down there but those are just the floor mats and back here all the seats are in pretty good conditions besides the driver's seat uh there's just a jacket back here um but yeah it's in pretty good condition besides the paint uh the paint does have some fade i'll go ahead and show you the paint the, the paint. Mileage, you know, the southern california car came from costa mesa moved its way to riverside not to us so it is a local car so the damage the car holds is basically to this whole region right here and in the, and in the front a little bit we actually have video of how this car got hit if we have it by the time this video goes live we'll insert it here Move, bitch. Get out the way. but if not um just to give you guys a teaser this car was hit by a cop dead ass like hit by a cop who was distracted just side swiped it so if his we lights were on he was patrolling the area but he was probably on his computer or something and he like and, it yeah up. we saw a video but we don't have the video and it's pretty funny just to see that. <laughs> luckily, so we can get the video for you guys. Luckily, this door opens with ease, yeah. um, but that is not an easy fix by any means. And the wheel does have some sort of like camber to it, but it still runs in drive. I actually drove it up to like 40 miles per hour, and it actually didn't feel that bad. I'll go ahead and turn on the car for you guys. So even with 170,000 miles, it's in pretty good condition. Yeah. As you guys saw, the car turns on no problem. I went ahead and just turned it off because we're gonna start working on it. So this is gonna be the end of this video. We are just gonna start doing that. Not even gonna record that because who it's wants to watch? Who wants to watch just taking off a bumper? But the, the interesting story just was that um, another IS300, you know, has which, joined. The that's family. pretty cool, you know, like yeah, that, and it's red too. So he likes red, and that's a color. That I'm thinking personally if I was to paint it, but I like that it's red and I like that it's a five speed. 
Um, I love that. Yeah, it's yeah. A but the next fee, the next video that we're gonna be putting up, uh, it's gonna be probably a story between all the cars that we have, like he did mention earlier, and that'd be pretty interesting as we talk about the prize, the story, how we came across, the timing of it, and all that. It was just, it's all pretty interesting. Just, yeah, uh, his car has a cool story. Out. My car has a cool story. Just because I three hundred, if you're in the market for them, you know the prices. They're not. They're not cheap. Yeah, they're not like, you know, cheap, cheap 240s that are beat or whatever, but they are pretty cool. They're not the fastest cars that I was saying the last one. Like, they're nice looking cars. So, yeah, guys, I just wanted to make this better outro. The car is currently just on. Uh, let me just give you a quick little exhaust note from the outside. I mean, the car is bone stock, so the exhaust is really quiet. Uh, we drove it yesterday on the street, and I did a little pull. I actually did, I popped the clutch just to see what it would do, to see if the clutch would low-key give out, just to see. But uh, actually, surprisingly, it held up pretty good. And with that camber, like the car was doing like a little skirt skirt. So it was going like all over the road. So I just had to control it. But I mean, it's pretty easy to control 200 horsepower. But yeah, guys, thank you so much. And I'll catch you in the next one.